Hello, how are you? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're a regular here, you will know that here I love to share all things home, home decor, seasonal decor, gardening, travel. Travel's a big passion of mine, so I love to share um, all the tips and tricks that I'm learning as I go. And if you are new here, a very, very warm welcome to you. I'm just back from another trip. We took a cruise with um, Princess Cruises on the beautiful brand new Sun Princess. We had a couple of nights in Athens, then we did a seven night cruise from Athens ending up in Barcelona. Cruising is relatively new to me. Full disclosure, um, this is my third ever cruise. I have taken two previous cruises, both with Celebrity. Absolutely loved them. The first one was on Celebrity Equinox and the second one, exactly a year ago, I was on Celebrity Edge on the Edge class ship. I thought it would be useful to pull this video together um, for anybody who has maybe sailed on the Edge class ship and is looking for something similar and is maybe looking at Sun Princess as a good option. That is exactly where I was. I loved the Edge class ship. I loved the modern contemporary decor. I loved the size of the ship. I just loved everything about it. And so when it came to this next cruise and Sun Princess was going to be in her inaugural season, I looked at everything and thought, yep, I think that's a good option for me. There are lots of videos out there already reviewing the ship as a whole, so that's why I'm not going to do that. There's There are loads out there. You can go and have a look. This is really specifically looking at 10 things that really struck me that were different about the Sun Princess compared to the Celebrity Edge class ship. Now, if you've never sailed with Celebrity before, and you've never been on an Edge class ship, this will hopefully still be really useful for you because you'll get a good impression of these aspects of Sun Princess and decide whether it's the right ship for you or not. If you particularly are looking for something similar to the Celebrity Edge class ship, then hopefully this will just help you to make a decision for your next cruise, is Sun Princess the right one for you? So one of the biggest differences that I noticed immediately when I started looking at Sun Princess and, and thinking about booking was the huge number of traditional balcony cabins that it has available. If you've been looking at all at any of the Edge class ships um, with Celebrity, you'll know that they have this cabin type called the Infinite Veranda. It causes huge controversy, you know, throughout the cruising world because is it actually a veranda? Is it a balcony? It's basically a big window that opens. Some people love them, some people hate them. Full disclosure, I have never stayed in one. When we were on the um, Celebrity Edge last year, we had one of the aft balcony cabins, which was lovely. It was a, a huge balcony with sun loungers as well as chairs and a table. But honestly, we didn't use the sun loungers. It was a beautiful big balcony with a gorgeous view of the wake, traditional balcony with the rail and all the rest of it. But it did cost a little bit more and um, there are very few of them on the ship. And so when you're looking for availability on cruises, it can be much harder to get. Whereas on Sun Princess, there are a huge number of the traditional balcony style cabins with your rail looking out to sea, you're at, you are outside in the fresh air. Um, now, we were on deck 11 on Sun Princess. I think we were 11259. I think that was our cabin number. We didn't look right out over the edge of the ship. A couple of decks below us was the cabana deck, which is an exclusive deck that's available to a certain cabin type. But it was very, very quiet. And it was actually quite nice. It kind of felt a little bit safer, if that you know, if you, if you don't like the idea of looking straight down into the ocean, you could certainly look out and see the sea completely unobstructed. So cabin type, if you, if traditional balcony type cabin is for you and, you know, you don't want to pay the extra for the aft cabin on the edge class ship or you just can't get the availability, then Sun Princess offers way more of the traditional balcony style cabins. So that's the first difference. 
Number two on my kind of list of differences between the, the two types of ship is in the buffet. Now, if you've done any research at all into Sun Princess, you will probably already know that what they've done with this ship is that it is not a self your self self yourself self. That's hard to say. Self service buffet. The whole buffet is behind glass, and the crew serve you and you don't take a plate along you literally just walk along ask for what you want they will put it on a plate and give it to you then you can kind of take your own plate along and you can hand it to a crew member and ask for something else you know to be put on it now i think they've done this for two reasons it seems to be the biggest reason is for um hygiene you know with multiple people handling serving tongs and that type of thing it's kind of easy to see why that would help to um, you know, minimise the spread of diseases. I think post-COVID, it's, it's something that, that they're doing for that reason. I think it also helps to minimise food waste. Now, you can ask for as much as you want. You can ask for, you know, one sausage, three sausages, five sausages, three pieces of French toast, whatever. You just ask for whatever you want. But there's probably less people that will kind of pile their plate high and then not eat it. So I think it definitely helps to minimise food waste. So that is a big, big difference between the two ships. The other difference for me is the area that the buffet is in and how it's laid out. If I'm totally honest, I preferred the big airy setting of the buffet on the edge class ships either side on edge class you have these huge windows letting in a whole load of light and the whole the whole area is open from one side of the ship through the seating area through the buffet through to the other seating area with big windows on the other side it's not like that on sun princess the buffet is located in the middle and you can't see from one side to the other. You've just got the buffet in the middle and one seating area. However, what Sun Princess definitely has in its favor is that there are many, many more areas on the outside, outside seating areas on all sides of the buffet and right across the back of the ship. The buffet is located at the aft and so you've got seating areas all the way around and a variety of seating as well so not just regular tables and chairs but you've got comfy seats comfy sofas low coffee style um tables so i really like that so while i didn't like the more kind of low ceiling closed in feeling of the the buffet i thought that the the i love the outside seating area you could just take your food and go outside the other thing that i loved about the buffet in sun princess was that on every single table they have a jug of iced water and you can just pick up a cup and you've got continual you know water you don't have to go and get that and on every table they have all the cutlery silverware is all wrapped in napkins so that's one less thing that you have to pick up so i did really love that about the sun princess so next thing on my list and these are in no particular order they're just as they came to mind and it took me a few days to realize this but sun princess doesn't have any kind of nightclub venue on it at all now when i was on celebrity edge i seem to remember the had a venue was it just called the club or something like that and i remember going there they had a um was it an abba tribute abba sing-along night that's what it was and sometimes they held the silent disco in there on sun princess there is no club type of venue there are other entertainment venues and i'll, I'll come on to that um, but anything like a live band or the silent disco or anything like that is really happens in the main atrium no nightclub um, and the other thing that is a bit different is that on the edge class ships they seem to use the the lido deck the pool deck quite a lot at night they would have i think they had kind of like sort of music disco nights up there as well again on sun princess they don't use the lido deck at night for any kind of music um, or disco or dancing or anything like that 
what they have is they call it movies under the stars. Now, while we were on the ship, it was the Euros, the football um, was on. So they were showing the matches on the big screen up there. And then on the other nights, it's a movie night. So you can go up, they put kind of big um, pillows and blankets on the sun loungers and you can literally lie on the sun loungers, look up at the big screen under the stars and watch a movie, which is kind of cool. But yeah, no disco party nights on the pool deck on Sun Princess. Next on the list is that I thought that on Sun Princess they had way more kind of coffee shop style venues. Now I know that Celebrity Edge and the Edge class ships have is it Albaccio? Albaccio, I think is the name of the, the kind of coffee shop there. On Sun Princess, they've got several venues that just do coffee and cake, um, coffee and ice cream. You know, there, there seems to be several sort of sprinkled throughout the ship. And the main one, International Cafe, stays open 24 hours, which could be really useful if you've got a bit of jet lag going on and you're awake in the middle of the night and you just want to go out for a wander, <laughs> grab yourself a snack and a drink, something like that. But um, yeah, it's open for 24 hours. But I just felt that on Sun Princess, there were way more of these venues and also International Cafe does a lot of kind of sandwiches. It was a really popular breakfast venue as well. If you didn't want to go into the the um, the eatery, the buffet, or the main dining room, you could just go by International Cafe and grab a kind of breakfast bagel or you know a pastry and coffee that type of thing. But yeah, just way more coffee shop style venues on Princess, and I really like that. Next thing to look at is what they've done with the main dining room on Sun Princess. Now, the Sun Princess main dining room is beautiful. It is a huge space over two, arguably three levels. We'll come to that in a minute. But the, the main part of the main dining room is on two levels. They've switched it up. So one level is your traditional dining. If you want, you know, either the 7.30, is it 5.30, I think, seating and 7.30 seating. And you should be seated in the same spot with the same waiting staff. I think that's the concept there. The other level is just kind of anytime dining where you can just come and go at a time that suits you. It's a beautiful space and compared to the edge class dining, so with the edge class ships with Celebrity, I know what they did was they deliberately moved away from this big, big dining space and there are four kind of concept restaurants on the edge class ship. Um, I know one was called Tuscan Grill. I, I can't remember the other the, one was a French name. Each is kind of themed and the idea being that all four of the restaurants will have some dishes that are exactly the same as, as each other and then they will have a few dishes aligned with the concept of that restaurant. So the Tuscan Grill will have a few Italian dishes, the French place will have a few French dishes, that type of thing. I personally much prefer the big airy open concept of the Sun Princess dining room. I felt that on the Edge class ships, although they had tried to make each one different, each one kind of looked pretty much the same. The decor was a little bit different, but they looked and felt very similar inside. The other thing that was very apparent with the Sun Princess um, main dining room was the space between the tables. There was ample space between the tables. On the Edge class ships, a lot of the tables felt very, very close together and you almost felt like you were dining with the people that were sitting right next to you. This was absolutely not the case on Sun Princess. The tables are, you know, spaced out with loads and loads of space, you know, between the tables. The only thing now with Sun Princess, and I think it's, it's, um, just to do with the inaugural season. This was kind of a new concept for them and I don't think they've quite worked out the staffing levels. On the edge class ships, most of the waiting staff would all come and they'd exchange pleasantries and they'd be happy and smiling and ask you about your day. On Sun Princess, I have to say the staff looked a bit 
flustered. They were working flat out. They were sometimes almost it felt like they were running between tables trying to get all the orders in, which doesn't really make for a very kind of relaxed atmosphere. But I really believe that this is just an inaugural season problem. I think they will solve this and get on top of it for its next season in the Caribbean and then wherever it's going after that. So if you're thinking about it for you know one of the future seasons then I'm sure they will have this problem well and truly solved but I just don't think they've got enough staff in the main dining room on Sun Princess yet. But as I say I'm sure they will solve it and it is an absolutely beautiful space. The next thing that is quite different about the Sun Princess, and this is what I was meaning about the levels of the, the main dining room, and that there is a, a kind of third level of the main dining room, which is called Horizons on Sun Princess. And the top level of the kind of main dining room is themed as an American diner. Now, when I read all about the ship and, and researched it and it said that it had this American diner. I kind of expected to walk in and see it themed as an American diner, you know, the decor and everything as an American diner. I think it's Americana or something it's called. We had a bit of trouble finding it on the first day because we couldn't see anything that looked anything like an American diner. And all it is really is the top layer of the main dining room, the top level it really is just to do with the menu. The decor and everything of the uh, American diner part of the Horizons dining room just looks exactly the same as all the other levels, except that they don't have white tablecloths and it's a different menu. It is this American themed menu. Now, you can look at the, the information online some of the concept is that they have the same menu throughout the day. Their, their kind of quirk is you can have breakfast for dinner. So they've got breakfast items on the menu that you could order at dinner time if that's what you want to do. Um, they also in the evening have a, a couple of dishes from the main dining room, from the Horizons dining room, from the levels below. They pull a couple of menu options, you know, onto the, the kind of American diner top level restaurant. Other thing to note is you can't make any reservations so it is absolutely just walk up. We never ever had any issue getting a table here. But I think it is a really good concept but it just did confuse me a little bit because as I say I don't know I expected like booths and jukebox or I don't know something like that. I think they've been very clever because what it means is that if it doesn't work out for you know for them or if they feel it's not working out they can just scrap the concept and the decor and everything is exactly in place. And actually for one of the nights, they had what they called the gala dinner, which meant that they didn't have the American diner menu at all. And it was basically just the menu from the other levels of the Horizon restaurant, but in a slightly more casual setting because you didn't have the white tablecloths on and you can certainly go into that level in your shorts. I hope I'm explaining this because it was a little bit confusing. However, the menu options and the food on this level was extremely good. And for the most part, I think they've got the staffing levels better on this level. The staff on here seem to have more time to be able to, you know, chat with you. And yeah, we really, really liked this level of the restaurant. And the Edge class ship doesn't, with Celebrity, doesn't have anything like that. You've either just got the four kind of main dining room restaurants or speciality dining that you're paying for. So yeah, the American or Americana diner concept on Sun Princess, loved it. Also wanted to talk about the medallion on Princess Cruises and on Sun Princess. I just think this is a great use of technology. So you've got your medallion, uh, when you walk up to your cabin door, it recognises you and it unlocks the door for you. Uh, when you walk up to a bar, it 
the barman addresses you by name because they can see who you are. It shows up on their device. They look at the photograph that's been registered and they have a look at you, make sure they might ask you to confirm your name. Um, but yeah, they can see who you are. So five of you walk up to a restaurant to get a table. They can see on their device who you all are. They just check who you are, confirm your names and you're good to go. I just thought that it's such a cool use of technology. The other thing that we were able to do which was much better than the way it is on Celebrity was we had a drinks package. On Celebrity, you've got your cruise card, which is your key card for your cabin door. And if there was four of us and one of us was going up to the bar to get some drinks, you had to collect everybody's, crew, everybody's cruise card and then one drink would be added or deducted um, you know, from each card. On Princess, they were happy to take one medallion and take say four drinks off the allocation for that one person. Now if there were supplements to pay on your drinks obviously it's going to get charged to that one person's room you have to be okay with that but it just worked out better than having to collect everybody's medallion and then next round of drinks somebody else would just go up. We were never anywhere near our 15 drink limit per day so it was never going to be an you know, a problem that you were putting somebody over their drinks limit, but it just made it a lot easier with the medallion on Princess rather than the old style and um, traditional cruise card that you have with Celebrity. It felt like there were more entertainment venues on Sun Princess than on Celebrity Edge. So on Sun Princess, you've got a variety of bars um, you've got O'Malley's, the Irish pub that they use a lot for um, for live music and karaoke and that type of thing. You've got the Princess Live venue, which is kind of set out like a kind of club type venue, not a nightclub, but just more of a, a kind of um, entertainment club style, a comedy club, that type of thing. They used that like all day and all evening as well and yeah just a variety of bars that were used for entertainment venues it just felt that there was a lot more of that maybe there was more entertainment in general on Sun Princess and that's what made it feel like that but I thought that Sun Princess probably did that slightly better than Celebrity Edge if you're enjoying this video and it's striking a chord with you then please do think about subscribing to my channel. There's a pretty good chance that you and I like to take similar trips and I'm going to link a video here uh, for another trip that I took, another review that I did and that might help you to pick another holiday too. But yeah, please do think about subscribing. I'd love to have you in the tribe. Another big difference on Sun Princess that I noticed is that smoking is allowed a lot more than on Celebrity Edge and presumably the rest of the Edge class ships. In the casino on Sun Princess, you are allowed to smoke. However, you are only allowed to smoke if you are actively playing at a table. I had read some reviews online that suggested that because the casino allowed smoking, that people who smoked on Sun Princess were just going into the casino to smoke. But that is not the case. You are only allowed to smoke if you are, as I say, actively playing at a table. And I, we didn't spend a lot of time in the casino, but you have to walk through it now and again. And we spent a little bit of time there one night. And I really didn't think that it was an issue at all. And I am quite sensitive to, you know, the smell of smoke. And I didn't, I really didn't notice it. I did notice that on the Lido deck, the pool bar, during the day, which is outside, you are allowed to smoke at that bar. There were ashtrays on all the tables and sometimes when you walked through that, you were aware of it, but it wasn't a real problem. So if you are particularly sensitive to smoke, don't be concerned when you see reports about Sun Princess and that smoking is allowed a bit more than on other ships. Um, it is only in a couple of places, the casino probably the most notable, but it really was not an issue for me at all and it certainly wouldn't put me off booking another cruise on Sun Princess. I reckon as well that Sun Princess had a lot more activities on the go than um, Celebrity Edge and again presumably the other Edge class ships. 
um, there was a full program, everything from ping pong tournaments to learning salsa dancing to quizzes to live music, a whole host of entertainment. That said, you don't have to take part. You can go through your whole cruise and not take part in anything and always find quiet spots on the ship just to have a quiet, peaceful time and not take part in any of the activities at all. But if you are somebody that that is a big part of your cruise, then you will be spoiled for choice. It's all in the app. You also get your uh, paper copy every day in your cabin of everything that's on. And yeah, you could literally spend your, your whole day just hopping from one thing to another. So loads and loads of entertainment options on Sun Princess, definitely something for everyone. And yes, there, there, of course there is on Celebrity Edge as well. There was a lot going on, but I think that there's definitely a lot more going on on Sun Princess. So I thoroughly enjoyed my time on Sun Princess this year and when comparing it to Celebrity Edge, both cruises were taken in July, so peak summer season. Both were taken on the Med, so kind of easy to compare and contrast them. There were a lot of families on board Sun Princess this year, but the kids seem to be very, very well catered for in the kids clubs and with kids activities. And we did overhear quite a few conversations where the kids were just pleading with their parents, could we just take them back to the kids club because they were clearly having such a good time there. And I do remember with Celebrity, what they tended to see was that their cruises were family friendly rather than family focused. And I would say that is definitely the case with Sun Princess. There are no, you know, flumes and, you know, go-karts or any of the very, very family oriented activities on board. Now, if you've been researching Sun Princess, you'll probably be aware that they were supposed to have a facility called Park 19, which had a ropes course planned. And there's a, there is one kind of slide. It's not a water slide. It's just a regular slide. That has never opened. Nobody really knows why. There is a speculation that it's to do with safety certification. There is chat online again, just rumours that it will never get safety certification and that they will actually uh, take it away, never having been used. So not sure whether they'll ever replace it with anything else, which is very family focused. But if you are going to be booking this ship with kids, as I say, the, the kids seem to be very well catered for in the kids clubs, but it doesn't have all the children's bells and whistles that some of the other cruise lines provide, which probably is why it does make it attractive to a more adult-oriented cruise demographic. In conclusion, loved it. Can't wait to be, go back. I will definitely be looking at where can I get a full um, regular balcony cabin between the two cruise lines and ships. Who's got the best price? Sun Princess is the first of what they're calling the sphere class ships. So they will be modern and contemporary, the same as the edge class ships. So going forward, I'll probably just be looking at both of these class of ships. Who's got the itinerary that I want? Who can give me a balcony cabin? Who's got the best price? There's really not much in it other than that. So I hope this video has been useful for you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.